having passed away following an accident on Sunday morning at the Mariama Kunda Johnson. The bodies of Modu Korkaba and Kemo Sane were on Monday laid to rest at Yundum. The funeral was attended by scores of individuals, including a government and economic delegation. This included the Minister of Defense, Seh Omar Fai, Economic Commander Colonel Seh Omar Tamba, the Sierra Leonean High Commissioner and other senior security officials. The ambassadors with a big delegation, we have the economic commander, we have the chief of defense staff representative, General Jaune, we have the, the strategic operations officer, General Sekan, a lot of senior officers from the armed forces of both economic and the Gambia, and all our sister services, including the DJ representative, SIS, all sister services leadership are present here today. At the mosque and elsewhere at the family house, Sheikh Al Haiba Haidara and Defense Minister Sheikh Omar Fai reiterated their condolences and that of the government of the Gambia as regards the unfortunate demise of the two young men. We are extending our condolences to the family on behalf of ECOWAS, the leadership, and all Gambians. We want to say we are sorry and we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in his infinite mercy to have sympathy and mercy Amen. on the departed souls. Amen. And we want to just come here and share the grief Amen. with this family because Amen. these are very difficult times. But the president asked us, the ECOWAS leadership stood by, everybody come together to say that this is our family. We are, we are sorry for what happened. And then inshallah, ECOWAS has brought in an envelope of 50,000 to put it as part of the, the ceremony of the charity, but also they have, a, they have something that they want to do with the family, but it's not for public consumption. They will talk to the leadership of the family through the ECOWAS ambassador and the economic commanders, and then we will reach out to the family. Once again, we want to say on behalf of President Barrow, ECOWAS, we are very sorry. While adding 10,000 to the 50,000 given by ECOMIC as their token for the funeral, Brigadier General Turo Jaune, who represented the Chief of Defense Staff, also re-echoed their grief concerning the accident. Community member Alaji Kanye said the incident is indeed a great loss to the family and the entire country. He joined orders in praying to Allah to forgive the shortcomings of the deceased and reward them with bountiful blessings. Speaking in the name of the family, Mohamed Said Jalo said they are glorifying Allah regardless of the tragic incident. It is a difficult moment for the family and the nation at large, but as Muslims, we will take it in good faith and accept that this is what Allah has ordained, he continued. One of the deceased, being a grade 12 student of Morel Senior Secondary School, personnel and students of the school were also in attendance. Lamin Jaita, who spoke on their behalf and the entirety of the education fraternity, stated that they are deeply saddened. The school principal, the two vice principals and the teachers, as well as the student population, are also part of the group. The Regional Education Directorate and the Minister of Basic and Secondary Education are fully aware of what had happened. We are deeply saddened about this sad news. And we want to extend the condolence of the entire education fraternity to the family. And we had the remarks from those who had spoken the, so, the, the consoling statements that they have given, I think we should extend and add our prayers onto what they have said. In addition to this, Police Commissioner Fakeba Dabo, a family friend, appealed for government intervention, particularly regarding the fate of the other four victims of the accident who are currently said to be hospitalized with injuries. For the news, this is Modu Bajan.